Hi everyone, I'm Ashley, one of the in-house makeup artists here at Match My Makeup. Today I'm going to take you through correctors and concealers. These are two different products to help balance obvious colour changes to your skin. Colour correctors neutralise any discoloration in the skin and you're applying the opposite colour underneath your makeup on top of your SPF. They come in a range of colours, green, lavender, peach, yellow, all have a different job to combat the opposite colour on your skin. Concealers would go over the top of correctors and provide coverage to mask any mild discoloration. In some instances, you may not need a corrector and a concealer or foundation may be enough. Concealers often contain light reflecting particles and are wonderful tools to help boost the coverage in your complexion, but also add a bit of brightness. Both concealers and correctors come in a range of formulations and package types. You can get them in sticks, wands, cream palettes, liquids, and more. I'll show you a few different examples. So cream concealer palettes like this are really helpful because you've got concealers and correctors all in one. You can also get corrector palettes like this, which are also cream palettes, but you've just got a selection of corrector shades. This is would be an under eye peach corrector. So that's just in a little cream single. You can also get correctors that come in the form of a primer or an all over sheerer wash of color that you can use to apply all over underneath your makeup. With concealers, there's so many different options to choose from. You've got these sort of crayon stick-like formulations. You've got ones that come with a little brush in them, although they're not as hygienic. You've got concealers that have got the little doe foot applicator. And you've also got cream concealers like in the palettes I showed you earlier, and they just come in a little pot like that. So many different options to choose from. All formulations and consistencies really are going to achieve the same thing. It just depends on what you prefer to work with, what sits better on your skin, and what you feel more comfortable using. Given your skin can tend to get a little bit drier during treatment, a creamier formulation may feel more comfortable on your skin. Any beauty expert at a local pharmacy or a makeup counter in a department store can guide you to what formulation is gonna work best for your skin. Starting with correctors. If you think about art classes in school, you may have been shown a color wheel. We can refer to the opposite colors on a color wheel to determine what color of corrector will help to neutralize each issue you may be experiencing. As a side effect of treatment, you may be experiencing some redness in your skin. Some people also get some sallowness or dullness and also some darkness under the eyes. So correctors are going to be really useful to help counteract these and are also helpful if you don't really want to wear a lot of makeup or heavy coverage, but you do want to sort of calm the skin down and even out your complexion. The most popular corrector that we see is a green corrector, and this helps to neutralize redness as it is the opposite color on the color wheel. So this is great for irritated complexion, rosacea, broken capillaries, uh, acne or pimples. Lavender or more sort of bluey purpley correctors help to lift the skin and combat any sallowness or yellowness in the skin. These are less common. Yellow and peachy colored correctors are great for pigmentation and dark under eye circles. You would use a more yellow corrector on dark under eyes that are a bit more purpley and you would use a more peachy corrector on under eyes that are a little bit more bluey green. So I'm going to apply some correctors on my skin now. I've got a little bit of redness around the center of my face, so I'm going to start by applying a green colored concealer in those areas. So you'll start by having clean hands or a clean brush or clean beauty sponge to apply this. I'm just gonna apply a light layer. A little bit goes a long way with correctors and just pop that green just over my cheeks where I'm a bit sort of flushed and red. The warmth of your hands is really one of the best makeup tools that you can use for foundation, concealer, any complexion products. I love using my hands, just make sure they're clean. Now I do have a little bit of redness just on my forehead and chin, so I'll apply a tiny bit there as well.
just patting that in. Now I'm going to correct my under eyes. So the darkness I get around my under eyes is a little bit more bluey green colored rather than purple. So I'm gonna opt for a more peachy colored corrector. So you can just apply it on the skin and let it warm to the skin before blending it in. It'll make it much easier. So now that I've done my correcting, I'm gonna go on with my usual complexion product. So I'm going in with a tinted moisturizer now, which I would wear every day to give me an all over coverage. And if I need more, I'll go over the top with concealer later. You may find that with the correcting, your light layer of foundation or tinted moisturizer is enough. You can also get CC creams as well, which are, CC actually stands for color correcting. Um, and it's essentially just a tinted moisturizer, but it does have color correcting properties in it. So you could just use that as an all-in-one if you only have some mild discoloration that you want to sort out. Cool, so I've just applied my base makeup. I would like a little bit more coverage in some areas, so I'm gonna go in with my concealer now. When choosing a color for your concealer, opt for one that is the same color as your skin or your foundation that you're using, particularly if you are using to cover any pimples or raised bumps on the skin. If you're using your concealer up under the eyes, you can go for something that's a little bit lighter for brightness. Concealers can also be applied with clean hands, a brush or a sponge. I love applying concealers with a brush and then patting it in with the warmth of my hands. So I'm just going in with a little cream concealer that's the same color as my skin. And I'm gonna use that around my nose just to add a little bit of extra coverage. And I'll also apply this up under my eye as well. One of my number one rules when it comes to applying concealers and all makeup really is start with a little bit because you can always add some more if you need it. Particularly when it does come to concealers as they are so pigmented, a little bit can go a long way and you may not need as much as you think. So now you can just set that in place for the day and you're done. So that is how you correct and conceal your complexion. Check out some of our other videos for some great tips on different makeup looks. Thank you for watching.